Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. This morning I'm sharing with you a reading for this coming Sunday, the third Sunday in Advent. It's from Psalm 126, the King James Version. When the Lord turned against again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Here ends the reading. When the Lord releases those in bondage, they rejoice. The Israelites ended up in bondage because they had turned away from God. When they returned to the Lord, they found themselves being freed again, and they rejoiced. There are many forms of bondage. Some of us don't even realize that we are in bondage to so many things of this world. We become slaves to other people, to other things, because of our incessant desire for more, for more things, for more power, for more pleasure. As we pursue these false gods, we are actually giving up our freedom to live life abundantly in Christ as God intended. False gods, my friends, are not just statues of stone or wood. A false god is anything that you seek or desire more than the one true God. And when you set aside God thinking that something else in this world will please you more, you are doing just that. So during this season of Advent, as we prepare for the celebration of our Lord's birth, let us remember that he came as a baby born in a barn with the purpose to die for us in our place, for our sins, that we might receive forgiveness of our sins and be reconciled to God our Father. This is very good news. This is the news that brings hope, peace, love, and great joy to our hearts. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that even though we have often been led astray, even though we may have tears of pain or sorrow at times, we shall always rejoice in your promise that all who believe in your abundant gifts of forgiveness, freedom, from the bondage of sin, death, and the power of the devil, reconciliation with you, and so much more through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.